You say you love your children above all else. And yet you are stealing their future in front of their very eyes. Just to be clear, you don't think there's any issue with a minister condoning kids bunking school? I have no problem with kids fighting for their future. When I came out onto the forecourt and saw the thousands of young people who were gathered on the school strike for climate back in March, it gave me a tremendous sense of hope, but also relief, because it was like, finally, we're actually going to be able to do the things that we need to do because we've got the backing, not just of those young people, but of their parents, of pretty much the whole country. I've been working in and around climate change for about 20 years now. That's why I decided to go into politics, because the big change will only come as a result of political change. The timing has never been more right for the Greens to be in government. We're all in this together now. Because the Greens have led on climate change for 30 years now, people trust us to do the things that need to be done. It is time for the talking to stop, and it is time for the action to start. The action that we are now starting to see out on the streets demonstrates why it is so crucially important that the Greens are at the heart of this government. These are issues we've been talking about for literal decades in Parliament and we need urgent action now. This country and the world are facing the greatest transformation since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution. And we can do this. We can have a better world if we all do this together. It is going to take all of us and it is going to take everything we've got. If we can do it here, we can demonstrate what it looks like to the rest of the world. There is too much at stake for pessimism. Time is too short for resignation. We have come so far, we've worked so hard to get here. We owe it to all of our children, not just here in New Zealand, but all over the world, to get this done.